it's me. <gasps> Where have you been? I have been waiting for you. Look, Blair. Bye. Miss Deer. Did I do something? Are, are you angry no, with me? No, no, it's fine, Blair. We're fine. Well, you don't look like we're fine. Uh, I got worried about you, that's all. I stopped by the office, but you weren't there. I, uh, I got concerned, you know, make sure you're doing okay, that's all. Well, I am fine. In fact, I am better than fine. I am great, really great. And you? Yeah, I'm good. Good. Because that's what I want. Oh, I feel closer to you than I have felt in a long time. Don't you? I mean, after the miscarriage, I thought that... Well, I thought that we were over for sure. That I, mean, I was just so angry at you and the world that I thought I'd never feel anything ever again. Just the pain. And now? Well, now, <laughs> I am hoping that I'm pregnant. I'm ready. You know, Todd, it's hard to believe our marriage. We're a team. And we're gonna be parents, too. And I'm very glad. You know, in a crazy way, I think that we belong with each other. I think that we always have. You really think that, Blair? Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, I do. Good. More than I ever felt before more than I ever wanted to. I do. Todd. No, you see, I do. I feel that I do. You're, you're hurting me. This is important. Oh, well, not to me. Would you listen to me? Why should I? Because it's something you should know. Something big enough to make me come over here and tell you. Fine. Get it over with. I know the truth. The truth. About your pregnancy. What? You faked it. I found out. I know what you did. And so does Todd. Thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> I think you can. My name is Manning. They brought my wife Blair back in uh, uh, a couple months ago. She had a miscarriage. Look, who do I need to talk to? About? About seeing my wife's medical records. All of her records. 
need to see your file. I know everything. You faked the pregnancy to get Todd to marry you. I have no idea what you are talking about because my pregnancy was real and everyone knows it. This is real. Can we stop wasting time? Addie told me the truth. You weren't pregnant when you married Todd. You know, I don't care what my mother told you. You have no business talking to my mother. How did you get to her anyway? It doesn't matter now. The fact is, she told me everything. And I got into a bit of a fight with Todd. What are you saying, Max? Todd kept pushing, and one thing led to another, and uh, I let him have it. I told him everything I heard from your mother. He knows you weren't pregnant when you married him. He knows you knew about his money before he did. He knows the truth, Blair. No way I could take it back, so I came here to warn you. Hi. My wife was here a couple of months ago. She got mugged. She had a miscarriage. And I want to see her records. Well, Look, not... her name is Blair Manning. There's got to be a file for her somewhere. Do you think you could pull it for me? It's not as simple as that. What was the name of her doctor? Thank you. Then Dr. Woldak. Look, I don't have time for this. I need to see Dr. Woldak right now. I need to see those records right away. Well, why don't I try to reach Dr. Woldak for you? Why don't you do that? Oh, my God. He knows something. I know that you think that you have just dropped this gigantic bombshell on me, but you're wrong, Max. See, I was pregnant, and uh, whatever my mother told you, she was just confused. I know that Addie's mind can be muddled at times, and I did not believe her at first. But you knew all the facts, every detail. You knew about Todd's inheritance before he did. You pretended to be pregnant so he would marry you. You needed the money to start Melador and so that she could stay in St. Anne's. How dare you badgering my mother. I'm not proud of what I've done. But after you and Todd took away Luna's show with such contempt, I was ready to do whatever it took to get back at you. Oh, yeah. Using a mentally disturbed woman? She said she had a secret on you. I thought it had something to do with business, something I could use against Melador. I had no idea it was something so personal, something so potentially damaging to your marriage. Well, you're wrong about that because um, you don't even know what you're talking about. Because my marriage is fine. In fact, it is perfect. Todd believes in me, and he knows that anything that you would say about me would obviously be a lie. 